everyone, welcome to Cure Design. I'm Janine, and this is the first tutorial in Effect House for TikTok. And we want to create a random filter, but we want to make sure that we add this filter for two individuals. So you learn in the first step how to create this simple effect for your individual design. But in the next step, you learn to use this filter for two different individuals. Okay, let's start. Okay, before we start, make sure you have downloaded the Effect House app. The link is in my description down below. Next step is, of course, open the app. Go to template, interact this one right here, and down below you find the randomize 2D. Click on this template so you open a new project with this template. And we work with this template so it's way easier instead to create this whole function right here. We have this title and random sequence. So we want to change the texture, start with adding the assets to it. We start with our title, this one right here. Go to your computer. I hope you designed an intro. And this intro is the size by 340 to 123. Open this one. Yeah, now you have your intro. And the next step is go to import as well and Go to texture sequence because we need a texture sequence for our random option and this one is by 640 to 640 select them all open and create a texture right here and also an animation i rename it random sequence and this one as well go to your title and now we replace the texture in our inspector. You see this texture right here. This is a title question based texture. Click on it and now you can go to your texture intro. The same with random sequence, inspector, texture and in this case the animated texture, random sequence. Now we have changed the texture. Delete this one right here. We just need these two. And that's it. So the next step is we want to make sure that we use this filter for two different individuals. Go to your face image in the inspector, face binding. In this case, we track a human. You can also go to cut and we have the option which face we are on. And you can select five individuals. So this one will be our face image zero for the first person. Also change the title, zero as well, sequence. All right, go to duplicate this one. Change the name again. For this case, we need two different random sequence. This one, double click on it, zero, and duplicate this one in one. Make sure that the random sequence one is also the random sequence for the second person, uh, so random sequence one. Go to texture, random sequence zero is now random sequence one. And to make sure that the sequences are different, first of all, go to your order and say random. Also for this sequence random. And also make sure that one of these two are reversed. It's not important which one. I wanna switch to a uh, another video so you see the evolution of that uh, we have two person and you see now that both are on this side for example there is no animation for the face image one and we want to make sure that we duplicate this so go to control or command c command d to duplicate this now we have this one is random one. I comment around. So, so this is face image zero. This one right here is face image one. Go to face image one and double click into this randomize. And now you see the whole script, visual script or visual uh, programming behind this simple filter. I just click 
on here so we have a little bit more space for our our script right here and you see I zoom in later and you see this comment around this orange comment around these are the things where you can change that by changing the random sequence so that the second person get the random sequence one zoom in by scrolling set visibility the random sequence zero is um, on so click on it and select the second one zoom out a bit to this one right here random sequence object select this one i think you need to select find four different <laughs> just so this one you see it right here on the random sequence object as well select this one and there's another one for different sequences and that's it and now when we oh sorry i forgot something we need to make sure that this face image one is of course which face this one of course now it's working this is face zero and this is face one our last step we search for the visibility of our title and when I scroll out there is right here opacity image component title object and this object is linked to our title zero click on title one and we search for the opacity and this one right here is our opacity and you find this little button right here click on it and we have to get opacity and set opacity in this case we want to set the opacity and now we need to link the settings this lines right here to our title one go to subtract number to value set the value right here zoom a little bit out and go to tick this is trick or tick I don't know select this one and we delete this now it's working for both of them so we are done and that's it thank you very much for watching I really appreciate your time I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and the next tutorial will be about Spark AI again and yes please send me a message if you want to see more about Effect House or uh, which tutorial you want to see next. Uh, thank you very much again for watching. See you next time. Enjoy the process. Bye bye.